Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to yet another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be covering the easiest method and guide for the Pleasant Gardens part of the Leviathan Raid. Now just from my own experience myself and from talking to a lot of close friends, this is actually the hardest part of the raid for a lot of people. The other encounters themselves are difficult at times but this one right here requires you to all be on the same wavelength and have some superb communication. That may be difficult if you're finding a team on LFG or if you're just you know playing with people that you're not too familiar and close with because like I said it does require a lot of communication so hopefully this guide right here can get you guys through this very easily I know me and my fire teams are now absolutely blazing through this first try every time and it just feels so great because at first this took me three and a half hours for my fire team to figure out before we actually get into the method itself that is extremely easy to do I want to go over the basic mechanics just so you guys have an understanding of what you have to do during this encounter the two guys up top are going to go ahead and grab the relic while the other four are going to grab something called the Royal Pollen. They will then huddle together and go up to these bright glowing pink spores. These spores will then start to leech away from your Royal Pollen and you have about 4 seconds before it disappears completely. Do not let that happen and make sure one of the relic holders is in a pocket of light so that they can hold the trigger while holding the relic and deflect the light shooting it at the spore. This will then cause you and your fire team to get a times 12 empowering spores buff. This buff is very important because it's directly correlated to the amount of damage that you can output, meaning that we are going to kill all of the dogs in one phase. That is the strategy that I'm showing you in this video. So instead of just killing a few of the dogs and then going back into the safe room or getting all of the dogs weak and then going back into the safe room and killing them on another phase, this method will make sure that you can kill them all very quickly, efficiently, and most importantly, this is in my opinion the most safe way to complete this entire encounter. One thing I thought I'd mention that's pretty important is that if you notice that you and your fire team are not getting empowered spores times 12 each time you get up to one of these spores and pop it, that actually means that one of your fire team members holding the royal pollen is not getting close enough to the spore before it's getting popped. Your relic holder must wait a little bit longer for all four of you to huddle together or one guy with a royal pollen is slacking and taking his time getting there. So you have to fix that and make sure you get 12 each time. So as you can see we just popped the second spore and we're going to be making our way over to the third we're currently at times 24 damage and even though that's pretty good but that is not enough to take out one dog all six of you at a time it's just simply not enough damage so we're making our way over here uh, to this far back right spore and we're going to shoot it and we're going to jump all the way back up to times 36 damage so now we're starting to get into that one uh, i guess gray area where you can do a lot of damage but it's still not enough and it's a little bit risky to try taking out all of the dogs at this point in time make sure to play it very slow and safe this does not need to be rushed you have plenty of time as you can see in my footage right here we're crouching we're waiting we're being very very patient and that's really the name of the game you got to be patient and make sure that these spores are being popped without anyone getting spotted by a dog if you get spotted by a dog you can no longer use this strategy and you'll have to revert to something else or you're going to have to wipe so as you can see we just hit the fourth one right Right here and we got uh, I believe times 48 on the empowering spore the last one was right here in the middle and I'll show you guys uh, what we do once we pop this one so everyone splits up into their own ways and they go find their own dog that they were assigned to now one important thing I also forgot to mention and I apologize for this is that before you start this encounter make sure to find out where each one of these dogs goes because they're going to go right up to one of these pollens or spores and they're gonna do some weird thing with their mouth where they're like sending airwaves over to it I don't know I guess they're like howling um, but what you have to do is find the location of all six of them and make sure to assign each guardian on your fire team to one of those dog locations and they will then kill one of those dogs each and as you can see in just a second here we're going to complete it very effortlessly the last guy was having a little bit of trouble because his light was low but there it is we just completed it in about four and a half minutes so this part is honestly a joke if you and your fire team know this strategy strategy and I thought I'd love to share it with all of you watching this video. If you enjoyed, definitely drop a like as it supports the channel, subscribe for more daily Destiny 2 content, have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you all later. Peace.